Let's do GFC is back. The series you guys love is here. FIFA 23 Create a Club Career Mode Episode 1. It's time. This is also going to be the hardest Create a Club we've ever done because we're starting right at the bottom. EFL League 2. That's right. The fourth division of English football. We're going to have to literally work our way from the bottom of the English football system all the way to the top. And the goal is to make S2 GFC the world's best club by winning the Champions League. Sit back and relax, boys, because this is going to be one hell of a journey. Oh, man, I couldn't be more excited. First things first, we're going to name our club, and you guys know what we're naming it. There you go, S2GFC. Was there ever any doubt? I've been hyping the series up on Twitter on the S2GFC official club account, and I can say this. Bro, the hype is real. What do we even nickname our club? What does this even mean? No, we're, we're not nicknaming our club. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers, Jeff. Dream Destroyers. That, that. No. Okay, I like this. I like this. Tough cookies. I don't know why. Why? S2GFC, the tough cookies. Wow. Bro, our nickname is bigger than our club name, so it is what it is. Now, there was a big debate on which league should we begin S2GFC in. Should it be the championship, maybe the Premier League, League 1 or League 2? I did a poll and you guys can see the results. And EFL League 2, you guys want me to suffer pain and agony by starting in literally the lowest division possible in England. So we're going to do it. This is going to be the most challenging creator club we've ever done. If you guys are hyped for the return of S2 GFC and need your support. Drop a like on the video. Tell you what, smash out 5,000 likes. I'll get you an episode tomorrow. Subscribe as well to stay up to date with all the Creator Club stuff. So apparently Gillingham are the worst team in the division currently, so we're going to select them. I don't really care who's our rivals. AFC Wimbledon, why not? We need to settle with a stadium and look at the options we've got. I think it's only fair since we're in the fourth division of English football, we go with literally the smallest stadium. Bro, this stadium, I'm going to remove Move my face cam for a bit. Look at this. 3,920 capacity. What even is that? But yeah, we're going to have to play here. But don't worry. As we get better, as we get into bigger leagues, we can upgrade our stadium and hopefully get into a stadium with a capacity like this. We've changed the stadium seat colors a little bit just to give it the blue, yellow S2G team. But yeah, this is it. Like, we, we've got our stadium sorted. You might be thinking what club logo we could have. With the help of mods, I've managed to put the official S2G logo in game. Game. That's that sorted. We can't have kits without having an official manufacturer of those kits. Normally for clubs, it's like Nike or Adidas who do them, but we're nobody club. They're not going to be making kits for us. But because we've got one of the greatest players ever to play football investing in S2GFC, that is Monsieur Cidinho. He is a 1% shareholder of the club. He's got us hooked up with three potential brand deals. Also remember, these kit deals is what's going to give us our transfer budget for the first season. Interesting, interesting. The first deal we've got is from Umbro. They're going to give us a 3 million budget if we sign with them. Our objective with them is to secure a playoff spot at the end of the season. And if we do that, we'll also get 2 million for the season coming next. Pretty simple, man. The Umbro deal is very easy. Next one, we've got New Balance, and this is a bit more challenging. And for those reasons, they'll give us 4 million as our budget. The objective is to get automatic promotion. And if we do that, we get another 3 million for the season after. This sounds good. I like the challenge. Finally, we've got a big manufacturer in Puma and their objectives are tough. They want us to outright win the league and they'll give us 5 million as our transfer budget. And if we do end up completing our objectives, they're going to give us 3 million for, of course, next season. After thinking about it for a while, I think it's it's the best decision is to go for New Balance. There's a bit of balance between the difficulty. I think I want to go New Balance. Plus, hey, Jack Harlow reps New Balance, so we'll run with it. Mm. Good start. And so revealing our New Balance home kits for the season. Boy, does this look really, really nice. We're going to have New Balance kits, home, away, third kits and everything. For the first season, not bad. We're yet to secure a shirt sponsor, but that'll hopefully come soon and with more money. So for our away kits, we've gone with all white. Not bad at all. New Balance sponsoring it. It's okay. The, the, the away kits can have some improvements. But our third kits, oh boy, New Balance, you've done a decent job, you know. We'll take that. And finally, in FIFA 23, you can actually select your goalkeeper kits, which is like, EA, why wasn't this there before? Anyways, we'll run with this. 
guys. I'm gonna unveil the squad very soon, but just to let you guys know the settings we're opting for, we're literally starting with a half star team. That's right. This is gonna be, as I said, the most challenging creator club we've ever done. We're gonna adjust the budget down to 4 million. Don't you worry about that. The squad's gonna be very young because I want a lot of the players we've got here to be involved when eventually we do get to the Prem and everything. Bro, I'm so excited. Let's get into taking a look at our team for the very first time. This is it, guys. S2 GFC's new manager has been unveiled and it's 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 literally me. And if you're wondering why have we got our manager looking as homeless as this, it's because, guys, we're the fourth division of English football. We can't be rocking out with, 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 with suits that are like thousand dollars and everything, you know? We can't. Over time, that will come. But this is it. The moment you guys have been waiting for unveiling the team that we've inherited at S2 GFC. The first ever 11. The beginning of this great club that's going to win Champions Leagues in, well, at least four seasons, five, six. I don't even know how long, but we'll get there. Looking at the strike force, we've got Will Smith. Okay, so his name is not Will Smith, guys. Keep my name out your f no! I don't know his first name. We'll find that out. Bro, my man's got low, low work rates. Ah, uh, here we go. He's a 28-year-old. We've then got Tyler alongside him. 59 rated. He's a lot better. 23 years old. Then we've got Sherlock Holmes himself. 221B Baker Street. Hopefully he can help us solve our defensive and offensive problems. He's six foot four and he's a 63 rated left midfielder. What is going on? We've got this May guy in midfield. Again, he's 28. The ages of these players. Barry is a lot better, 23 years old. We've got Dylan at the back. We've got <laughs> nobody to really be happy about. At least this kid has got a bit of pace, but he's he's from Granada. Where is that even? In goal, we've got Waters, who is 31. I literally selected a very young squad. How how is this ready on? We've legit got a farmer, guys. We've got a player from Liga. Kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Liga is a great league. He's 34 years old. Guys, I think I've been bamboozled by this game. I selected a ready young squad and I've been given an old age home. Okay, finally, we've got a few young players, but they're like 49 rated, man. Bro, <laughs> playing with this team is going to be an absolute nightmare. Probably the best young player we've got is, is like Berry in midfield. Tyler's one of them as well, but it's bad. It's really, really Really bad but i'm sure a few of these players are going to become absolute heroes for us maybe it's tyler maybe it's berry who knows but we're gonna find the next javier presa definitely thanks to new balance we've got about four million as our transfer budget and boy do we need that money to bring in a few players i'm actually thinking instead of using all this money to bring in players what if we invest in a youth academy right now we don't even have a single good scout but we do have some players in the academy we'll get to them soon but I think spending a bit of money to hire a scout is the play. But we've got about 4 million. There is no way I'm spending all the cash on a scout. That would be ludicrous. I think we'll stick with this. He's got a four-star experience, two-star judgment. Callum, you're going to be the first ever scout for S2 GFC. And bro, what? How do we have this kid in the academy? Raul Lopez? Is he like the second coming of Deco or something? Bro, he's better than almost every player in our team. In fact, a lot of these players could be in there. Oh my god, Raul Lopez, 75 to 94 potential. That is insane. Bro, he's getting straight into our team. That is almost like a new signing. Bro, I can't lie. How is a 17-year-old our best player in the team? Like, this is insane. Raul Lopez, that is one player you guys already need to remember the name. He's gonna be insane for us. I'm actually thinking instead of making signings already, I need to get into a game and get to know how this team feels before deciding where we can improve. And so it's time to begin our EFL League 2 journey, bro. I am so freaking hyped for this. First game in this already controversy, who designed these guys as kids? They've literally got just blue kids and that's why there's a bit of a kid clash. I can't even use my home kids in our first game. I guess I'm gonna have to rock with the away kids, which is frustrating. But in terms of the team, I'm just going with what looks to be our strongest 11 on paper and let's find out who the ballers are. Okay, what is that stadium? There's hardly anybody watching us. There is more there's more trees than people here. But okay, we're playing in one of the worst stadiums ever. But it's fine. It's fine. S2 GFC is going to build from this. Oh my god. Let's do this. Oh, we've been gifted the ball. The level of football in this league is not going to be the highest. Oh, but looks like it is. 
What a goal from our number nine. What a finish. The first ever goal of S2GFC is scored by this man. I don't know whose name it is. I don't know his name. But bro, what a finish from our number nine. Look at that first try. It's Max Holmes who scored that goal. Bro, he's our left midfielder. Why does he have the number nine jersey anyways? What a goal. One thing I can definitely say, Raul Lopez is a different player. He feels so much better than everyone else. And I can say that because everyone else it feels like they have a touch of a donkey, whereas Raul Lopez is out here perfectly controlling the ball, moving it around so well. Just as we talk about him, here he is. Good ball out wide. Chance it for a cross. Who's that cross going to? Oh, here we go. Max Holmes, bro. This guy is unreal. Literally the best player of this team so far as we miss a simple chance. Tyler, you gotta be scoring that every day of the week. I don't know why Max Holmes is this good, but this six foot four monstrous winger is genuinely unstoppable. Kind of reminds me of like a poor man's Perisic. Half time and I can already say who the ballers are. It's it's Max Holmes. This, this, this guy is unreal. Raul Lopez as well, out of nowhere, popped up in the academy. He's unreal too. But no one else has really impressed me. I'm gonna try out Berry in that midfield instead of me and see what he's all about. Also, this guy, Dylan, he's an absolute fraud. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's just a fraud. We'll bring on 21-year-old Stewart instead of him. Bro, Max Holmes has got, like, the dribbling style of Raheem Sterling, and he's got the physicality of, like, Woot Wegos or someone like that. What kind of a player he is? Oh, look at that control from Max Holmes. Bro, this, this is turning out to being Max Holmes FC. He's genuinely unstoppable here. Look at the play there, looking for Lopez. Ball through. Oh, he might actually score. Oh, it's off the post. So unlucky. Oh, that is one hell of a ball. And huh, this guy whose name is Senior or Senor, whatever you want to say, they get the goal. One thing's for sure, we don't really have a good keeper. Okay, if we concede again, I'm genuinely going to be depressed. Please no. No, nope. please no. Our keeper made a save. Waters, he actually made a save. Let's go. Oh, I see a good run being made. It's a lovely run being made. Another ball. What's happened here? We still have a chance. Head up. Oh, we've scored in the 90th minute. S2G FC has won their first ever game in the most dramatic way possible. Tyler, our hero, day one. And he's produced that. What a lucky goal. Because I think the defender was on the floor for some reason. Look at this guy. It's like, what happened here? The defender went tumbling down and was gripping and crying. While Tyler, our number 10, out here scores the winning goal. An iconic moment. This will be etched in s 2 folklore forever and that's that we actually won our very first game i'm so glad i played a game before deciding the signings now i know which players stocks i should be investing in one of them is tyler max holmes i think is going to be a legend for us lopez as well at the back nobody really impressed me but tyler lopez and max holmes they're the real deal the first thing i think we need to do is to like just solve this right midfield position bro dylan is 27 and my man is 53 rated how is it he realized football ain't for him we're gonna need another the right midfielder. I'm for now going to use Stewart in there, but we need to build someone up there for that position. Going to try and convert Stewart to a right midfield position for now. I think we should be fine doing that. Actually, would right winger make more sense for him? Probably. Let's do that and see what happens. I think most importantly, I would want a reliable center back, which I don't think we have in, in the current duo, or maybe even a goalkeeper. Hmm. Let's figure this out. What can we get in the market? Also, guys, free agents. Ooh, that might be a bit of a play, you know. Let's see who we've got here. A lot of players from Qatar are in here because of, you know, them not being having any league or anything. So we could genuinely sign someone from here. Bro, Cristiano Bruh. Ronaldo is available for free. Better than playing for Al Nasser. Why not join S2GFC? But hey, I, I think that's that's too unrealistic to do in the first season itself, boys. So we're not going to do that. The problem with signing players when you're in the fourth division of English football is that you can only sign players maximum from a division above you. So we can only sign from League One. We can't sign players from the championship or other division. It's super tough. So I found a couple of players who I'm scouting. Ibsen Rossi, an English centre-back playing for Cambridge, and Edward McGinty. This would sort out our backline, but we need to scout them more. And so we're heading into our next game to continue to learn more about the team we've got. Of course, it is Raul Lopez looking to bring the ball forward. Go on. Look at him go. He's actually goated, man. What a ball for Max Holmes. We know he's got the pace. There he goes. 
Max Holmes looking for a cross. It's brilliant for Smith. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's managed to score regardless. Let's go, Smith. Max Holmes and Raul Lopez deserve a lot of credit for that. We take the lead. A famous win for S2G FC. Two in a row right now in League Two. Okay, I think we finally have enough information to go ahead and sign these players. So let's get into it. First, Ibsen Rossi. 800,000 market value. If we can get him for like a little bit lower than that, that'd be an absolute steal. And looks like we are going to do so. 750. 50,000 for a center back like that. Not bad. Oh, the S2 GFC laptop is ready. We're going to now make our very first signing. I'm ready for this. Four year deal as well. Ibsen Rossi looking all good. We'll give him 1,000 pounds. His current wage is literally 950 pounds per week. We'll, we'll give him 1,000. A 50 pound wage bomb. I can't believe I'm doing this, but he accepts. No, no, he walks out. What? We literally offered him more money. Wow. Okay. I guess we're going to have to wait before we sign. Ibsen Rossi. I messed up the negotiations again. For now, we'll try and sign the keeper then. I'll try and get him for 900,000 if it's possible. They want 1.1 million. This is expensive. We'll pay the 1 million. 1 million 50. Okay. But this time, I can't mess up negotiations. Okay. His wage demands are pretty clear. So I think we can offer him this and get this done with. There you go. We've actually made our first signing. Somehow, it's McGinty who's going to turn out being the very first signing S2 GFC has ever made. Bro, where do we have this club offer? Like, where, where, we don't have the money to have such a big club office and all, guys. Come on. But anyways, Edward McKinney is here for 1 million. We've signed him. The Irishman is actually a massive upgrade in goal for us, bro. He's, he's 23 from Ireland. He's going to be our keeper for, I think, a long, long time. We're heading into a couple more games because we still can't negotiate with that centre-back. So let's get through these games, hopefully with wins. Oh, it's a chance for McGinty to be a hero. Our new goalkeeper, can he save this? No, he can't. We're 1-0 down. Down. No, no, we've been opened up defensively. This is bad. Chance for them to score a diving header. Where was our defense? We get a penalty and a chance to get back into the game. And I'm taking it with uh, Raul Lopez because we don't really have a good penalty taker. And Raul Lopez scores. We're back in this, but it's a bit too late. And yep, the game ends up in a 2-1 scoreline. We get our first defeat. And this made me completely understand. We need a new defender. But we still can't negotiate with them. We'll have to wait a bit more. This is frustrating. We get into our next game against Tranmere Rovers. And once again, our defense is getting Denied. exposed. But there you go. That's why we paid the big box for a goalkeeper. No way. 88th minute. Tyler's got a chance to go completely through on goal. He might actually end up scoring. No, he hits it straight in the keeper and that's how the game ends it's a nil nil draw our team is still hit and miss so far this season man ah <sighs> it's gonna be a grind what i can say though is i really like uh, jay stewart as like a right winger and by doing that his overall actually goes up as well so i think he's gonna be one of our wingers for the season most importantly we can make a move again for ibsen rossi i want to sign him this time can't believe i'm signing a player from cambridge united what on earth is happening Eight hundred thousand fee there you go done. I cannot bottle the negotiations, guys. No way. No way. We're making it happen. Five-year deal. No release clause or any of that. What's the salary going to be like? We'll offer him 1,600. I think he will accept that with, let's say, a 5,000 sign-on bonus. I think it's a decent contract. He wants a bit more. He wants a lot more. We'll offer him whatever he's asking because I want him. 2,100 pounds per week. It's done. We've made our centre-back signing. The hustle was real, but we've pulled it off boys finally and look at it being unveiled in our new kits man like bro this is so good the new balance kits look amazing Eight hundred thousand for zeno ibsen rossi how is this guy english my man's got like a, a, a serbian name mixed with an italian name but he's english and there you go ibsen rossi coming in we slowly keep improving this team come on now we've actually had a pretty good start to our efl league 2 campaign and we need to keep this up time to see what ibsen rossi and mcginty together can do for our defense. Gibson Rossi and there you go. No nonsense defending. That's why we've got him. You know what guys? Tyler does remind me a bit of, you know, a young Kylian Mbappe. That, that might be a bit too much, but you know, he's good. He's really good. Okay, maybe not Mbappe. Okay, what on earth has Tyler just done? He is so lucky the ref blew for halftime. <clears throat> oh my god, this, this is clearly League 2 football here. What are these tackles? Here's Max Holmes. 
Max Holmes. Nope. Oh, he's gone for it. That was one hell of an attempt. One thing I'll say, I, I think the next thing we need to look to address in this team is, is a bit of firepower. As good as, like, you know, Stewart has shown, you know, a bit of potential and all, Max Holmes is great, but I think we need, like, a better winger. And I think that's going to be our next signing. Yup, this game ends nil-nil, and that confirms it for me. We need more firepower in the attack. We've strengthened our defense. We're going to keep clean sheets. We need, like, a solid winger. And you guys in the comment section are going to decide which... Which wing are we sign? Maybe I'll pick the top comment, but keep in mind, we've got only a million to spend. Also in the comments, I need y'all to drop your press conference questions because we're going to have the first ever press conference as S2GFC manager. So I need your comments. But yes, guys, S2GFC is back. I am excited for the journey of making S2GFC the world's best club. And hopefully you guys are on this journey as well. Catch y'all in the next one.